this is Tim Brandon with Bird Appliance Specialist. Uh, today we're working on a GE Profile fridge. This is the newer models. The newer models have an AC inverter that runs the compressor. What one this specifically deals with is if you've had flood damage recently in the last month or so. Um, there is a way to repair these and salvage these where rather than going out and get a new fridge and the things you want to look for when you try to plug your refrigerator back in it doesn't work are, are two things all right so what you're looking at is your water valves for your ice maker your compressor your inverter and your fan if you do not have this inverter this is probably not a solution for you but these are really the only electrical components that are on the refrigerator so Basically, what you want to look for, number one, is when you plug it in, do you have a spinning fan next to your condenser coil? If it's spinning, then you do have the circuit that's closed for running the compressor, the fan, and your evaporator fans inside. And if your compressor is not warm, if you do not hear that compressor, the fact that you only have this electrical component, this and this, means this is likely the problem. You can pull that out with one screw down at the bottom, but please, before you do anything, make sure you unplug the machine. <laughs> and basically what it'll look like when it comes out is this, and you will see inside where you've had some water damage. There's some, definitely some issues with uh, corrosion and other parts as well where it's stopped working. But anyway, you can get this part. The fact that the compressor and the refrigerant are medically sealed means there probably won't be a problem with it in a flooding situation if you had flood waters of two to five inches. Uh, just make sure that you also clean the inside of the refrigerator uh, to make sure you don't have any mold issues. But other than that, sometimes this is a solution. Call us if you have any questions. Thank you.